how to create product bundles in Shopify step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we'll be going over how you can bundle up your product and have more upsells using Shopify. So Shopify is one of the most commonly used e-commerce stores and uh, store builders. And I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are looking to upsell your product in today's economy and the way you want to scale your business. It's very essential that when you have a potential customer, instead of them just buying one item off of you, you want to upsell them or you want to provide them with like a bundle discount so they are more likely to purchase more off of you. So it's very essential that you do that and there are very simple ways that you can do that and I will show you guys exactly how. So let's get into it. Now the first thing you want to do is head on over to your Shopify store dashboard. So I'm in my store dashboard and I've just set up a couple of uh, products and it doesn't matter if you have imported these products via a dropshipping method or you have added these products manually. You don't need to worry about that even if you are using like a dropshipping supplier and you're using something like Deezers or any other dropshipping platform to add these products, you can easily bundle them however you want with this integration. So for this, you want to go into your search bar, you're just going to go into apps and you can go into your apps and sales channel, click on Shopify app store. So just head on over to the Shopify app store and then you're just going to search for bundler. Now there are multiple different bundling apps and bundler is probably one of the most popular ones. It's popular because it's simple, easy to use, and it has a free plan available and you can create unlimited bundles even on their free version. The reason I don't like it is because uh, it looks a little outdated. The way it appears sometimes can look a little outdated, but you can update that and, you know, make it fit into your website. And other than that, I have currently installed Tier as my personal bundler, uh, although Tier is slightly more expensive and it's not going to be uh, something that you guys can, um, you know, do for free. And we also have Rebolt Bundle. This is not available for free either, but it's pretty good. And if we take a look at Tier, which is personally pretty good, and it's probably one of my favorite bundle apps, but they have, you know, the free version where you can only create one product bundle. So moving on to Bundler, we're actually going to download that, and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So you want to click on your bundles and we're going to download bundler and the reason why bundler is the most popular is because it allows you to create unlimited bundles on their free plan which is a service not provided by other applications now we're just going to click on install application and once you have installed the application so this has been added and on the left side i can see this uh, application i'm going to pin it to my navigation because i want to access it easily but once we have this we will have our basic home page of bundler and we're going to click on create bundle now uh, you have a basic classic bundle where you give a customers a discount when they purchase specific products together then you can also add a volume discount. So volume discounts are basically when people buy more, they get a discount. So let's say maybe you're selling um, t-shirts and maybe you have like a matching t-shirt and trouser and you're going to give a discount when people buy you know purchase them together but it doesn't matter if they're purchasing 50 items or 100 it just is that they're purchasing those two specific items together so if it's a discount on specific items you're going to go with a classic bundle if it's a volume discount you're going to go with the volume discount so we're going to first build a classic discount and then you have the bundle name so this is going to be first set and then the title would be get a discount, buy these products together, get a discount. Then you have the total uh, original price and discounted price. Then you have the call to action text and then the priority sequence. So this uh, applies based on the uh, highest priority. So which one should uh, get the most priority in terms of the product. Then you have the bundler status. I want this to be an active bundle and I want it to show everywhere the widget for this bundle 
and after that this discount can only be claimed by customers tagged with the following tag so you can also allow uh, specific discounts only for a specific niche of customers maybe you have you know customers that are frequent buyers you can integrate those but I just don't want to do that. I'm going to make this like a site-wide one. So below that, we have our percentage discount. How much discount I want to give for this specific bundle. You can add a fixed amount. You can add set discounts on products. You can have a fixed bundle price and you have a without discount. So a bundle that won't give uh, any discount, but you can provide free shipping or something like that. I want to provide a basic percentage discount. It's going to be a 10% discount to people that buy the, you know, the bundle. And then you have your product level. So you can switch, uh, you know, the variants. Maybe you're not selling out of a green and purple variant of your t-shirt. So you can provide that in bundles and only have the discount applicable only to that specific color, just so you're able to get it out of your warehouse or, you know, get it out of stock. So that is another great way you can optimize that. And then you have the discounted products in your bundle. So which products are you offering this for? You're just going to click on select product. And let's say I want to provide this for my cloud nine baguette and all the colors. And I also want to provide it for my uh, fashion diamond fashion handbag. So I'm going to click on add and people will get a 10% discount and I want to automatically add new product variants as well because I want to provide this for all of the colors and as soon as people all you know purchase one uh, you know these two products together in any of the colors they will get a 10% discount then you have conditions as well so a customer has to buy the products to get the discount you can have a maximum or minimum amount of items as well so a defined number let's say i want customers to buy at least two of the cloud bags so then i can add maximum and minimum numbers but i want to have a basic one then you have all of the short codes but if you want to promote the bundle in uh your home page you can add the short code then you have the landing page content if you want to do that but i'm just going to click on save and I want to go to my product page to see if I am able to see my widget for this. So you guys can see my widget is here. The Cloud Baguette Bag and the Diamond Bag get a 10% discount if bought together. Discounts will be applied at checkout. So that is how it's looking like. I can customize the appearance, obviously. I just skipped through most of that. But you can, you know, add your own text if you want or so on and so forth. In this way, uh, we've created a basic little bundle. And now we can go back into Bundler and we can click on Create Bundle. Let's say I want to create a volume discount. And this is going to be just be a volume discount and i'm going to go on ahead scroll down and i will just directly go in to product selection type so only apply to specific products or discount to all the products let's say i'm having a clearance sale and i want to get rid of all of my existing stock so i will apply this to all products in the shop and then i will add the volume discount so the volume discount will be buy 10 and get 70 percent off and i will just click on add volume discount like so and then the second one you know the second volume is going to be maybe buy nine products and get you know a 60 percent discount like so and i can click on save bundle and just like that i've added you know these bundles and these are going to be available on the product section of my clothing page and if i click on you know any item obviously this is not you know a combination one but as soon as people add it to the cart they will be able to access this discount so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video